Hello everyone and welcome back to ECC83 YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing good out there. In today's video, I decided I'm gonna do a tip comparison between Tangsgram and Mallard. Now, why did I decide to do that? Well, perhaps two reasons. The first and most, perhaps most important reason is both of these tubes are famous for being very strong in the low mids. And this is something that many guitar players, including myself, enjoy and are going after. And the second reason is, for what I find of resources, that Mallard helped uh, establish Tangsgram in Hungary. And it was a big reason why uh, uh, Tangsgram happened in Hungary. So I'm sure there were some technologies and certain toolings that were borrowed or reproduced to reproduce, or should I say, to create these tubes that were made in Hungary. Uh, both of these tubes sound great. Now, first here, the mallards. I have, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna have two of mallards and two of tangsgrams. I'm gonna put them in V1 and V2, and followed is gonna be by this great Philips. Mini Watt ECC 83 that we already did comparison in previous videos because since I have only two of each of these, uh, or should I say I only have two Tansgrams, I have three Mallards, I'm gonna compare only two. Uh, between these tubes, they're very similar. The plate structure is similar, yet not the same. Tansgram has this very obvious support rod between the plates and this one has double support halo getter and this one just has just one rod supporting getter uh there's another thing to mention between those tubes uh mallards are very expensive very very expensive and not say that them tansgrams are cheap but they are way cheaper than ma than mallards generally i think that you can get an average new old stock mallard for 100 plus while for for tangsgram it's somewhere around 50 plus we're talking about dollars uh okay uh i'm gonna do this tube comparison if you watch the previous videos you know the drill i record first the clean channel uh left and right uh stereo and same thing i do for the crunch channel i record Two different riffs, clean and, and crunchy riff, both left and right stereo. Uh, first, I give you example how it sounds without without uh, other instruments, and then I give you and then I give the bass and the drums to see how it sounds all in a context. So, if you enjoyed these videos, give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. All right, let's go.
so here we are in the end of this video so hope you took good headphones or good speakers to listen to these and hear what's going on so what I've heard is uh, the mallards have a slightly more detail clarity and I would say uh, uh, definition they're amazing tubes they have so many reasons why they are so famous and so so after now on the other hand the tongues gram i honestly think it has a little bit more of bass frequency and uh overall i think it's very close sounding to mallard just it does not have such such a great detail but that's maybe not what you're looking for. This is this is all subjective subjective in the end. It's what you prefer. I personally I can I can decide which one I like better. I like both of these tubes. I think Tangsgram are great because again they're not so so darn expensive and they're easier to find. Uh okay. Uh, write in the comments what did you heard? Which tubes do you prefer? Uh before I end up this video, I just want to show you what came in recently and what's probably going to be also in the future on this channel. Two really amazing tubes. Now, all of you long plated lovers, here's some treat for you. I got another Philips Mini Watt Holland. Made in Holland in 1958. This is MC6 series. This tube is phenomenal. Now I have three of these. I'm so grateful and happy that I have these. They're amazing tubes. They're perhaps my favorite. And I got another one just last week. This one. And it's absolutely amazing. I'm so, so happy. Now I have three long plated bugle boys, like I said. And yeah, life is good. And what else came in? This is now perhaps the mo the oldest ECC 83 type that I own. And this is 1953 Brimer. Now it says either Tongues Graham or Tongue Soul on it. But from my research, I definitely know from this black plate structure that this is definitely a Brimer. And from the code, which is 3D4, means this one is made in 1953. 
which is great. This tube sounds amazing, by the way. It's a great find. It's very rare. And yeah. All right. So hope you enjoy this. See you next time when we continue our tube research.